Okay, let's talk about nuclear fission. Nuclear fission is the um, splitting of atomic nuclei. Splitting of atomic nuclei. What that means is that the nucleus is actually breaking apart into two or more pieces. That's what fission means. So this is nuclear fission. Uh, the example we're going to use is the uh, fission of uranium-235. So um, I'm going to write this out, uranium uh, plus a neutron. In this case, uh, uranium requires being bombarded by a neutron to be in order to um, fission. And one of the pieces that's going to be produced is uh, barium-141, as well as krypton-92. Plus three more neutrons. So that's what the big three in front of the neutrons mean. It produces uh, when uranium is struck by a neutron, it will split into two lighter elements, barium and krypton, as well as release three more neutrons. Um, that's this right here. Releases three more neutrons. Okay, let me draw that out maybe to make it a little bit easier to understand if it isn't already. So I'm going to have uranium here, large uranium nucleus. This is uranium, uh, plus a small neutron. This small neutron is actually traveling at great speeds and hitting the uranium nucleus. And this will cause the uranium nucleus to break apart into uh, a smaller ele element barium and another element krypton as well as let's see and of course it releases the three extra neutrons well they're not extra they're they're from the original uranium nucleus so these right here are the total products of a of the uh, fission of uranium. Okay, so these aren't necessarily these didn't come out of nowhere. This uranium at this uranium nucleus has basically split in half. One of the chunks happens to be barium, and the other large chunk is krypton, and that's based on how many protons are in each chunk and uh, basically, when the neutron strikes the uranium and it, it attaches itself to the uranium nuclei, it becomes unstable. That extra neutron causes the uranium to become unstable, and uh, it's much more stable if it breaks apart after that. And so it breaks apart into two much more stabler pieces, um, which is barium and krypton. Well, not that they're more stable, but... Uh, the most stable thing for the uranium to do is to break into those specific pieces. So uh, a good portion of it breaks off and becomes barium, and the other chunk of it becomes krypton. Uh, along with this process, um, three other neutrons are ejected from the nucleus. And let me write the uh, atomic numbers up here. Uh, uranium is 92. Uh, the neutron already has a atomic number of zero. Barium is uh, 56, and krypton is 36. <coughs> Excuse me. Krypton is 36. Okay. Plus three more neutrons over here. Now, if you check the um, mass numbers, check all these mass numbers, as well as the atomic numbers, they are all balanced. So none of this stuff, stuff came out of nowhere. Uh, it's just the uranium combining with the uh, neutron at the beginning, uh, breaking apart into uh, these products over here on, on the right side. This is the end product, and it's completely balanced. Everything is conserved. Um, now, here's the other thing. This is how you make an atomic bomb. Uh, a lot of energy is released in this process. A lot of energy. Okay. Big boom. Um, 
and it all started by bombarding uh, this uranium with a neutron. Okay. Now, assuming we have plenty of uranium atoms around, uh, why might this reaction start a runaway chain reaction? Well, if you take a look, what's released in this process? Three more neutrons are released. And if what it took in the beginning was to hit a uranium nuclei with one neutron, well, these three neutrons are released free to fly into other uranium atoms around it. And when it hits those uranium atoms, it will do this whole process, release much more energy, and release three more neutrons. And those three neutrons are able to hit three other uranium atoms, and it's just a runaway chain reaction. And all of this can happen very fast in like mil split second, milliseconds, nanoseconds. And when that happens, all the energy just explodes, and that's how you make an atomic bomb. And it's, it's just an un, a runaway, uncontrolled reaction, and it will only stop when there's no more uranium atoms to, to hit. Okay, so um, that's how you make an atomic bomb. Well, that's the principle behind it. Uh, whether or not you can make it, well, it's not that easy, engineering and such. But anyways, that is... This is an example of nuclear fission, okay? How do you like that? Fits all on one screen.